almost as soon as Omicron started spreading, doctors noticed slight differences in their patients' symptoms relative to prior variants. Mild cold-like symptoms, such as sore throats, sneezing and runny noses were increasingly common. But former hallmarks of COVID-19, such as fevers, coughs and loss of taste or smell had dwindled. This chart shows you how Omicron symptoms differ from Delta and past coronavirus strains. First of all, headache and fatigue are common for all of them. The frequency of runny nose, however, was sometimes in pre-Delta. Sneezing is quite common in Omicron, sometimes for Delta and rare in pre-Delta infections. Sore throat is common for Omicron and Delta while it was sometimes in pre-Delta. Persistent coughing, chills or shivers and fever are seldom seen in Omicron infections. Why it was quite common to have persistent cough and fever amongst pre-Delta strains. And if you observe, loss of smell or anosmia, chest pain that is angina, and also shortness of breath that is dyspnea are particularly rare in cases of Omicron. Hence headache, fatigue, persistent cough, fever and loss of smell are the most common symptoms of pre-Delta infections. In the Delta, we have runny nose, headache, fatigue, sore throat, and persistent cough. While in Omicron, runny nose, headache, fatigue, sneezing, and sore throat are the most common symptoms observed. The most reported symptoms of Omicron are really very much like a cold, especially in people who've been vaccinated. Many patients start out with a dry scratchy throat that causes sharp pain when they swallow. It's a very prominent symptom. It's not like a little tickle in the throat. If they are reporting it, they are saying that their throat feels raw. And sore throats are often coupled with sinus congestion and headache. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more.